Listen, you make it look easy. You literally make the job look easy. You make the position look easy. You make the calling look easy. You make the assignment look easy. You make the healing process look easy. And so some people get it confused and they feel like they can do what you do. They feel like they can carry out the mantle. They feel like they can carry out the assignment. They feel like they can show up and do you better than you do you. They feel like they can do your job better than you. Because you have literally made the suffering look easy. Not realizing that God had already equipped you for this thing because you're chosen. You've already gone through the fire. You know what it is to suffer and you do it with grace. That's what they're confused about. And so they will try to take your position. They will try to show up just like you show up. They will try to be like you. Not realizing, baby, that you got the oil. You got the anointing on your life. You got the favor on your life and you don't do things out of your own might, but you do it out of the strength that God has given you. And they get it confused. They start competing. They start thinking that they can do it better than you do. You make it look easy, sweetheart. Whatever you're doing, I'm coming to tell you right now that you're making it look like it's an easy task. You're making it look like it's easy to overcome that obstacle. It's easy to heal. They don't realize the trials, the tribulations that you go through in the background. They don't realize how you have to suffer. They don't realize how you have to keep pushing, even though the tears are rolling down your face. They don't realize what the bank account looked like. They don't realize how you had to go through the heartbreaks, but you make it look easy because you do it with grace. Some of you are literally probably right now sleeping in your cars. You may be homeless, but yet you show up every day with a smile on your face. Yet you out here giving people on the side of the road money. Because God has equipped you to do exactly what you're doing. You make it look easy, sweetheart, and they get it confused. Some of these people, y'all, listen, the reason why they won't help you, because they feel like you already got it together. You looking around and you like, God, why I don't have no help? Why nobody's showing up for me? Why they can't just continue to, you know, why they can't show up and be the person that I'm being to them? Listen, sweetheart, because when they see you, they see strength. When they see you, they see power. When they see you, they see that light and they feel like you already got it together. They feel like you already strong. You don't need nobody. They need you. That's how they see it. Not realizing that God has given you, yes, that strength, but you can use a hug in an in a encouraging word sometimes too. But they can't give it to you because they think that you already got it made in the shade because you show up so gracefully. Because you take the tick, the licking, and you keep on ticking. Because it's you. Because it's you. I'm telling you right now, there are some people that's around you and they looking at you and they wondering how you do it. They feel like they can do exactly what you do. And let me tell you something about this. God is going to give some of these people the opportunity to stand in your position. Literally stand in your position. Some of these people are going to be broke down to nothing. Some of these people may even have the opportunity to be in the position that you are on your job. And he's going to show them. He's going to show them that it was you the whole time that had the oil, that had the anointing. It's not that you're showing up in your own might. You're on a mission. God has equipped you from a child. That suffering you went through from a child. That's what equipped you for today. That's what's carrying you today. Yeah, you may have suffered then, but listen, sweetheart, your resilience right now is showing up like never before. Your power, your strength, and it's not, again, your own might and your own power. It's the strength that God has given you. Even as a child, you were protected. You were protect protected from the foolishness from people. Let me tell you something. Somebody's watching you right now. They feel like they can do it better than you. They looking at you and they wondering how you keep showing up. Who's giving you that idea? Who told you you can do that? Who told you you can say that? How you have the audacity to quit your job? Looking at you, thinking they can do the same thing that you do. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all are wearing a fragrance that cannot be bought. Some of you literally, this is, I don't know where this is coming from. Some of you literally smell good. Maybe you put your smell goods on every day. And some of these people sitting around, they feeling like they're going to do the same thing you do. Listen, sweetheart, you're carrying a fragrance that cannot be bought. You have the anointing on you. You have the oil on you. That's what separates you from everybody else. 
and they looking at you and they feeling like they could do the same thing that you do. No, sir, no, ma'am. You're doing it with grace and they looking at you right now baffled. Baffled. You make the suffering look easy. Some people know what you've been through. They know the heartache. They know the pain. They know the suffering. Yet you keep showing up. Yet you keep showing up like nothing is happening in your life. That's the grace of God. That is the grace of God, y'all. I want you to know right now how beautiful and how powerful, how anointed, how favored you are. You really are. Even if you don't feel like it, I'm telling you that you are. Even if you can't see the tangible things in your life, I'm telling you right now, the grace that's on your life, baby, listen, that cannot be bought. We all have grace, but some of us got a little bit of extra. Some of us know we should have been dead and gone. Some of us know we should not be where we are today because of the grace of God. Here we are standing strong and people get it confused. They look at you and they feel like you got it made in the shade. They can't even tell you congratulations. They can't even give you an encouraging word. They can't even console you when you need it. They can't even be a listening ear because they feel like you already think you all that. They feel like you already got the strength and the power. They feel like you don't need nobody. You got it together. And that's nobody but God that's carrying you. So even if they don't do it, listen, sweetheart, you got all you need. And you got to know that. Tap in, tune in to the most high. Tap in, tune in to what you carry, what God has given you. Come into creation with God. Co-create with him. That's what's going to push you forward. That's what's going to continue to carry you. That's what's going to continue to encourage you. Not man. Man can't do nothing for you. They too busy looking at your pockets. They too busy looking at what you don't have. They too busy judging you. They too busy being superficial. That's how men operate. But thank God. For the grace that's on your life. Thank God for that. Again, even if you can't see the tangible things I'm telling you right now, people looking at you and they wondering how you keep showing up. You make the suffering look easy, sweetheart. And yes, it does hurt. Yes, it is challenging. But you coming out on top. They don't realize how you thrive under pressure. You have been the diamond the whole time. You may have looked a little rusty in that last season, but this season right here, God is shining you up, sweetheart. And you're about to be set on that hill. Nobody will be able to deny that it was God who did it. Nobody will be able to deny. You've been that diamond the whole time. He just put you under that pressure and now it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to shine. Again, it's not about the tangible things, y'all. It's about you showing up in your true form. It's about you knowing who you are. It's about you giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for taking you out of that pit and now sitting you on solid ground. You're going to continue to heal. You're going to continue to become. You're going to continue to overcome the obstacles. That's just what it is, period. And ain't nobody mad about that but the devil and the imps that he uses, the vessels that he uses. But so what? Let them continue to be mad. They looking at you and they think they can do what you do, but no, sir, no, ma'am. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for continuing to show up. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. Thank you so much for your PayPal's, your cash apps, your super thanks. Y'all, I'm so grateful for each and every single one of y'all, continue to do you, be you, continue to stand firm, continue to know, yes, you may suffer right now, but baby, joy comes in the morning. Stay the course, stay focused on you, stay focused on what God is telling you to do, period. I love y'all so much. Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.